Hello, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for uh, joining us this Christmas as we, uh, we celebrate Christmas Mass. Um, I am at the home of the, uh, the Roach family, and um, we are happy that you're able to join us in their home as we celebrate this Mass. And actually, we have a, a little bit of music this week, so we will now have our entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your, and spirit. With your spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are born this day to bring us eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And glory to God in the highest, and, and on Lord, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only Lord begotten God, Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who have made this night most sacred, radiant with the splendor of true light, grant that we pray that we who have known the mysteries of the light of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We'll now have our first reading. Our readings this evening are from the Midnight Mass. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. 
They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord and bless his holy name. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Oh, sorry. <laughs> A reading from the letter of Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we wait the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior. Jesus Christ. He gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also and with, with you. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment, when Quirinius was the governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over the flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. 
the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord. you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm so glad that we are able to uh, to be together and to, to pray the Mass and uh, to celebrate Christmas together with the Mass. And, um, you know, I, I, I love so much about this season. And um, one of the things that I really like are those stories that are, they're kind of legendary that happen all around the birth of Jesus. And and I'm sure some of them you've you've heard of. You've probably heard the stories of different people who have come, they came to the manger and offered their gifts. Um, there is the, uh, the, the one legend that on that night, all the animals could talk and could speak. Uh, you may have heard that. You may have heard the story of a little boy who had no gifts, but he had his drum and he played his drum, pa pum pum And I'm sure like all these ones. And, but there, there, I, I heard one new just last year. It was, uh, it was told by a, um, a cardinal over in the Vatican. His name is, is Cardinal Canta La Mesa. And his job is to be the preacher to the Pope. So imagine that for a job. And he's had this job for like a, a good 30 years, I think, now. And last year, he, he preached to the Pope a story I had not heard before. It was from Italy. But there was at the, uh, at the Nativity... There, all people were coming and they were bringing their gifts. And one of the shepherds who had heard the, uh, the sound, uh, the, the, the announcement from the angels came as well. But he had nothing. The shepherds were, were, were extremely poor. They had nothing. And so he felt so bad standing at the manger as all these other people were coming and bringing Mary these gifts. And so he just stood off on the side feeling terrible, looking at Mary, looking at Joseph, looking at the child Jesus. But all these people were bringing gifts, and Mary couldn't hold everything in her hands, and the baby too. So she turned and she gave the Christ child to this guy who had nothing in his hands, so she could, he could hold the baby while she received the gifts. And I love that story because it's just like Mary, right? I mean, we say Mary was full of grace. And so she would have been gracious receiving the gifts. So it would be just like her to not just say people, I got the baby, you put those things over there, but to receive them graciously. And also it's just like Mary because she knew from the beginning that Jesus was not meant for her. Like this is my baby and I'm keeping. She knew from the beginning, from the Annunciation, that her child would be for all the world. So it's just like her to turn and to give her baby to the guy that had nothing in his hands. But also, it's just like Jesus when he came on this earth to be especially present to those who feel empty, to those who feel as if they have nothing to offer or nothing left to offer. Those are the ones that Jesus would always be especially present to. And on this Christmas, that's what we pray as well. You know, we, we spend, and I'm sure you, you, you know, we're all alike in this, we've spent the last few weeks running around like nuts trying to make sure we have enough stuff for everybody, right? And there's nothing really wrong with that. It's our way of expressing our love for people. But in the end, when we come before our Lord, None of that stuff means a whole lot. What really means the most is that we come 
whether we have a lot or, or nothing at all, we come with our hands empty and open and our hearts open as well so that Mary can do for us what she did let, you know, for that shepherd boy. She can place our son, her son, in our arms and he can fill us with his peace. And that's what I pray for at this Christmas. You know, for those who are fortunate enough to be able to receive the Eucharist, it is Jesus literally being placed in our hands, in our, in, in our, in our mouths, and into our hearts. But even if we're not able to, to come out and go to church this Christmas, we can ask our Lord in our emptiness and in our openness to be with us and to fill us with his peace. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and, and is seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess, I confess one, one baptism, baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we present to the Lord these petitions for ourselves and for people in the world today. We pray for the Holy Church of God that in integrity of faith, she may await and welcome with joy him who him through whom the in, the virgin conceived by word and wonderfully brought to birth we pray to the lord oh, lord yeah, hear yeah. our prayer we pray for the progress of peace in the whole world that what was given in time may become a reward in eternity especially in those places that are challenged by war and violence, and most especially in, in the Ukraine and Israel and Gaza and in Nigeria, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We pray for those who have been oppressed by hunger, sickness, or loneliness, that through the mystery of the nativity of Christ, they may find relief both in mind and body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the families of, of our parish and all, the, all of us who are praying this Mass together, that receiving Christ, we may learn also to welcome him in the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. And we pray, O Lord our God, that the Virgin Mary, who merited to bear God and man, in her chaste womb, may commend by the prayers of your faithful in your sight. And we ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And as always, any intentions that, that you want to make, and if you put them in the comment section, I'll include them in my prayers this week. And we'll now have our offertory. And John will now give the microphone to the singers. No, it's grandfather.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread you offer, the work of your hands, the bread of life. Blessed be God for all is come. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The may Lord the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his, his name, name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may be found in likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And also and with, with your you. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, both now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you guys. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now, of course, is the time for the reception of Holy Communion, and especially at Christmas, but at this time when there are those who who are unable to to come to church and to receive our Lord sacramentally. It's so difficult. And that's why we make this prayer of spiritual communion, because we believe that Jesus isn't bound by anything and can be present in a very special way to those who are calling upon him. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the Word became flesh, and we have seen his glory. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by the participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of union with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And on behalf of Father Jan and Father Bindel, Father Gorman, Deacon Ralph, um, all of us at St. John Paul II Parish, and on behalf of the Roach family for hosting us, uh, I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, and I hope you're able to experience the love of our Lord. And um, we'll now have a closing hymn, and um, as soon as um, John hands over the mic, and um, uh, so, and, and then I'll see you again on Sunday. So God bless you all. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing.